welcome everyone so for this video is uh, electric eel versus piranha all right so let the battle begin all right so in this video i'm going to go to the strength and characteristics of the piranha and the electric eel of the amazon all right then after that i'm going to show you all a fight scene scenario uh, which i created based on all this data which we have all right so right now introducing the giant electric eel all right maximum length is a 2.5 meter as you can see let's deep dive and two newly discovered electric eel species the e volatile and the v very all right so this is how the giant electric eel looks like wow so for normal 50 volt right normally cause a uh, dangerous current to flow through your body all right so this is dr david de santana he and his team found new electric eel species all right and at 600 volts all right you might lose your balance and fall back all right high voltage can cause severe burns causing intense organs uh, to suffer you know and the e volta okay eel can discharge up to 860 volts of electric charge wow and also the e electricus all right the current species can charge up to 650 volts all right electricity all right and they can shock you really severely all right a mature electric eel is uh, the body is as thick as an average adult leg all right and electric eel uh, as you um, some of you don't know they might have uh, they have small green or blue eyes all right so electric eel will drown underwater uh, if they stay underwater for more than 10 minutes or 20 minutes all right so this is the head structure of the new species all right look at that wow so electric eel and observe they can hunt in shores of estimate 100 eels right they attack their prey by uh, launching joint predatory high voltages all right but normally normally electric eel like to hunt alone solitary animal right with 650 to 860 volts electric eel can shock and push back an adult look at that wow so don't anyhow touch electric eel all right guys so this is a current shop in Peru, alright, where they are selling electric eel. As you can see, the owner is handling the electric eel very carefully, alright. They, as uh, we said, uh, scientists observe the electric eel hunt in groups. So these are the different behavioral state: resting, interacting, migrating, and hunting. So the top is uh, the new species, E. Uh, Volta, alright, 860 volts. Look at that. These are the area: Guana Shoe, Brazilian Shoe, Lowland Intercreptonium basin all right so this is uh the amazon river in peru brazil you know guyana venezuela colombia all right this is a whole map ecuador you know so huge so as, as you can see the amazon river it is a uh, very muddy the water you know so and also electric you uh, body and the uh, all up a pack or uh, in the body all right it got three pairs of electric organs all right so 6000 electrolytes battery self all right so this is how the electric eel uh, look like all right the main hunter uh, organs will create the electric charges okay electroceptors are used to pick up signals and communicate with other eels Eels are, has uh, insulation cells which protect the eel from the shock by its own electricity. Okay, but uh, uh, electric eel eyes do not have insulation cells, so unfortunately, the eel adult eel become blind when they release their voltages of electricity. Although uh, eels are blind, you know adult eel, but they are very very formidable fighters against piranhas. So this is uh, a satellite view of the huge Amazon river and its uh, city. Look at the uh, and these are the fallen tree trunk, the habitat of electric eels, uh, shallow streams, they like to hide among giant lily pads, six feet wide. Look at that. And electric eels can generate a uh, huge vote like what you said, 860 voltage to kill uh, animals, alright, and predators as well. Uh, male eel will build a uh, bobber nest, alright, like uh, beta fishes. Alright, and their young will stay on their parents' head. Alright, I think uh, small electric charges. Alright, uh, at about one year, the old, uh, the babies will leave their parents. Okay, so electric eel lifespan is around 10 to 22 years old. Okay. And as you can see, this voltage charge, uh, E-Volta uh, 860 uh, electric organ discharge, the EOD charge. EOD chart, alright. 
These are 500 years so the Brazil nut tree something really different uh, that's why I like to share everyone with these uh, uh, very very special uh, footages of the eel and the uh, 500 year old tree as well This is the uh, dipole attack all right electric you as you see at the red color uh, it increases its uh, EOD electric charges all right this uh, electric you leaping attack on large predators when they go into the river when they feel threatened they'll just jump up all right and attack the predator okay this is a story by Alessandro van uh, Hombo all right so he saw horses uh, been driven in the uh, aboriginalist all right so uh, they jump on to the hot horses and then from there uh, they attack the horses this uh, voltage the ampere charges all right as you can see on top 0.043 m is re actually really really high for 1 m uh, from there as you can see this charge electric yield 0, uh, 0.043 to 1 m it can actually cause uh, death and very severe shock and paralysis okay this is a real amazon tribesman all right uh, it's used a, a human bait all right you can see that uh, there's a eel actually attack the tribesman they're using him to catch this uh, giant electric eel actually it is a very muddy pond So from this, you, you can see the eel stick onto the trike man. The man is really uh, stunned, alright. So their friends will pull him back to shore, alright. Uh, look at that. It's stuck onto the, uh, the bait, so called the baited man, alright. So this is how huge the giant electric eel is 2.5 meter maximum, alright. So once on shore, uh, the friends will use a, a machete and hack the eel to pieces. Okay, this is uh, Korobo, another type of Amazonian Indian indigenous uh, people. All right, they use the timbo method. All right, it's a poisonous uh, tree root similar to Tarzan. You know, the tree trunk. Uh, this will deprive the fish of oxygen. All right, look at that. The fish are like floating up without oxygen. All right. Okay, so they mix the poisonous uh, plant root juice with the muddy water so uh, no one really dares to touch the water because you know uh, the electric will jump up and pounce on them, right? So from there, uh, this small, uh, even this small little uh, pothole, the electric wheel, they catch, look at that, it's so huge. So once the electric wheel without oxygen, they'll just spear it. Okay, this is a very famous uh, video as well, where a, a person, an uh, angler, cat caught the electric wheel. Then this alligator was attracted by the splashes and bite on the electric wheel. And from there, look at that, the alligator got uh, shocked by the electric wheel, alright. Maximum 860 volt, 650 volt. It can cause uh, paralysis and ultimate uh, death. Electric eel can uh, create these shocks over an, uh, at least an hour without tiring. All right, these are uh, findings by scientists. Okay, so let's introduce the piranha. All right. Piranha, or, or, although small, they attack in uh, huge shores. All right, look at that. Look at that. Uh, definitely, I think more than one thousand piranha fishes in this uh, so-called mega shore. All right, the uh, Amazonian uh, people, you know, they're throwing in, uh, you know, uh, food. You know, for five minutes they can strike. For three hundred and five hundred piranhas can strike a human uh, bone. Bone, right? uh, in 1972, a study rip uh, belly piranhas uh, attack goldfish from the eyes and the tail. All right, so that's how they attack uh, their prey. Right? Piranhas also actually uh, bark or warn and communicate uh, with their other uh, piranha shores. Right? Look at that, so many piranhas in the Amazonian River. So estimated there are like hundreds of thousands of wild piranhas in the Amazon rivers and the uh, basin. Right? And you know, look at that, just in a while they can catch thousands of piranhas in their buckets. Okay, so uh, wild piranha form uh, large shores all right, uh, when threatened. And uh, when food detected, they are hungry and uh, they can be more aggressive. 
piranhas uh, can smell a uh, drop of blood like 200 liters of water so uh, yeah better get out of the water so estimated about 2 miles 3.2 kilometer away uh, the piranha can smell blood right The largest uh, modern species is the black piranha, so it has a bite force of 30 times their own body weight. So yeah, it's really really powerful bite force. So hundreds of swimmers previously have been warned to uh, not go into the river because of shores of deadly piranhas uh, bite attacks. Alright, look at that. Wow. They can easily uh, the fishermen can easily catch using this method you know thousands and thousands of piranhas you know the amazon river uh, the basin look at that wow it's like they it can't stop it's just like on the shore nearby the shore and already there are so many piranhas So this uh, bite force chart, as you can see, the black piranha is the highest. Uh, you can also watch my other uh, video about the mega piranha as well. Look at that, so many thousands and thousands of piranhas caught. And for pound for pound, the piranha has a greater bite force than the great white shark. Unbelievable, wow, unbelievable. Look at this tank. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, their bite force is also 3 times stronger than that of an alligator All right. So if you fall down into this tank, it's like, wow, it'll be like attack So the most frightening uh, event in Brazil was 2011 when a series of uh, 100 people be injured or bitten by piranhas In 2012, a five-year-old girl died after she was uh, uh, fallen, uh, fallen and capsized and eaten by piranhas in the Amazon River. Yeah, that's really, really unfortunate. So sad. And in order to uh, escape a piranha group attack, that will be like uh, uh, really difficult unless someone will pull you out of the water really quick. So officially, uh, these are the areas, you know, in uh, the South America area where lots of piranhas uh, exist. Look at that, shredding the the fish, the huge fish within one minute. Yeah. So reported, uh, there are also reports of uh, people swimming inside a piranha infested water, but not been bitten at all. Right. So they are triggered by blood splashing and then all those uh, or they, are, they don't have food or very hungry you know. So the worst case is a shipwreck of a riverboat uh, Sobra Santos 2 on 1981. More than 300 people were reported killed and eaten by piranhas, large, large catfish, bull shark when the ship uh, was docking at Brazilian port of Obidos and it capsized. This is really really tragic. Really really tragic story. One minute, look at that, it's stripped, uh, eaten or the huge chunk of fish within one minute by this uh, huge shark. Uh, look at that, within one minute, all the fish was like uh, gone. Really, really dangerous piranha. With a strong bite force especially. Yeah. So Tazi Teddy Roosevelt actually, uh, you know, went to Amazon. Uh, in a huge, he saw a huge shot, one thousand plus of unfed piranhas, and this all these piranhas quickly ate uh, the whole cow. So that is what, um, you know, spread the the danger about the piranhas, right? Piranhas uh, normally uh, hunt in group, uh, but uh, mainly they stay together in large group for safety reason. All right, they like to uh, lurk and ambush, attack their prey. 
So scientists also published papers that piranhas swim in large groups mainly for protection against uh, other predators and not for hunting purposes. Piranha groups uh, uh, were sent out um, you know, individual uh, like a uh, scout to hunt for food and all those, you know, just a few of them. Yeah. So once the scout piranha find a prey, it can signal to the piranha group, you know, by barking. Yeah. So piranha actually make a sound. Piranha fishes actually has a very uh, hear very well underwater, like splashing and all those. So I uh, like cloaking, barking. So which monster fish do you think will win? All right, so let's see the uh, fight scenario. So comment below, comment below. Uh, which fish do you think will win this fight? All right. Let's see a fight scenario based on the data uh, we have just seen. All right, all the data. So let's go, guys. Electric eel versus the piranha. All right, this is an animation which I made. All right, so the eel, electric eel, going for a breath, and accidentally the electric eel hurt itself. All right, blood, small blood occurs. Piranha can uh, trace blood inside water very fast. Right, the scout, as you can see, there's two scout piranhas coming in for the kill. They sense the blood, and from that detected that all oh, is from the electric eel. Unknowingly, it caught it a uh, bug, and uh, the whole shell came. All right, and Facebook it tried to attack the electric eel's eyes by electric using the bipole attack method. All right, electric eel it electrocuted the two scout piranha. And immediately, electric eel got up and eaten the. Uh, scout piranhas all right so from there uh, as you know scientists say that uh, electric eel hunt in group right so the electric eel signal to each other started uh, to feed more and more electric eels uh, come uh, to feed all right as they found uh, there are some food sources all right the piranha sensing predators uh, they group in a uh, even larger uh, shores and group all right and uh, the par piranha I mean uh, will uh, go off sensing that these are not food but these are predators instead so the piranha group are uh, in group in a larger uh, shore and went off right so thank you so much for uh, staying until now and uh, please subscribe and share and uh, see you again okay thanks guys